गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई सुनीता नायक वेलकम यू टू अ इंग्लिश क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट अ रियल इंसिडेंट ऑन न्यूक्लियर डिजास्टर द गोस टाउन स्टूडेंट्स हाउ वुड यू फील इफ यू हैड टू मूव आउट ऑफ योर होम सडनली वॉट वुड योर वरी बी अबाउट लिविंग इन अ न्यू प्लेस स्टूडेंट्स द वर्ल्ड्स वर्स्ट न्यूक्लियर एक्सीडेंट हैपेंड ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स अप्रिल नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स एट अबाउट वन ट्वेंटी थ्री ए एम दैट डे देर वॉज एन एक्सप्लोजन इन अ रिएक्टर एट द चर्नोबल न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट इन नॉर्दर्न यूक्रेन डार्क पॉइजनस क्लाउड्स एनवेलप द टाउन ऑफ प्रिपेड लोकेटेड अबाउट टू किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम चर्नोबल दिस स्टोरी is told by a woman named Nadezhda who lived in the town of Pripyat in this chapter she shared her sad experience of how her beautiful town of Pripyat turns into the ghost town so let's begin it happened late on friday night that morning no one suspected anything everything was happening as usual suddenly her husband came back home and told her about some sort of fire at the nuclear plant and also said that they said not to turn off the radio outside there was a bright crimson glow like the reactor was glowing that wasn't any ordinary fire it was some sort of shining light people gathered outside and showing that shining light to their children people who worked at the plant engineers workers physics instructors stood in the black dust talking breathing wondering at that there was a strange smell nadeezda's throat tickled and tears came to her eyes nobody slept all night and the neighbors were walking around upstairs they were carrying stuff around maybe they were packing their belongings in the morning she got up and felt that something isn't right something has changed forever at 8 that morning there were already military people on the streets in gas masks all day on the radio they were telling people to prepare for leaving the place they announced that they would take all of them away for 3 days wash everything and check the reactor over the kids were told to take their school books nadeezda's husband put his documents and wedding photos into his briefcase the bus stopped overnight in a village people slept on the floor in a school others in a club there was nowhere to go one woman invited them to sleep at her house but her friends started dragging her away because according to her they were contaminated later nadeezda's family settled in mogilev and her son started school but he came back the first day in tears because they put him next to a girl who said she didn't want to sit with him the other children were afraid of him nadeezda often dream that she is young her son is little and fearlessly they are riding through sunny prepared but alas it's a ghost town now students if someone from prepared came to live near you how would you feel how would you treat him or her think about it that's all for the day thank you